but you can see how much of this uh, we've already washed off and if I really uh, work on these little spots here uh, again as you can see it literally is just washing this crude right off of this reed uh, pretty much instantaneously and of course at the same time we're fully bioremediating that oil like I said so uh, there's no concern with this being washed off back into the water. Uh, if it goes into the soil, we can bioremediate obviously any control, any contaminant in the soil because we have emulsified and removed that petroleum and what you see here in the bottom of the plate is the beet sand. So we've fully removed the crude and have broken it down and emulsified it. We have some, uh, some small pieces left but within a very short period of time those will fully bioremediate as well. They're really just being held together by the grass and, and uh, different debris that had collected on this stalk. Uh, and as a matter of fact, we have a bowl test that will include that uh, demonstrates that quite, quite clearly. But uh, anywhere we've got contamination on this reed, uh, we can just simply continue to rinse with our product. And in a very short period of time, we have uh, pretty much completely removed. Uh, we've got one uh, last kind of big clump there that we're going to wash off. And this was out doing any wiping or removing of the heavy coating that was on this when we began our test. I'm going to put my sprayer back up. I think I'm about out of solution here. The other key is we're really rushing this demo for your benefit. Uh, ideally, what you want to do is spray this and let it dwell. Uh, let our product sit on there and work because it immediately begins to emulsify, like I said, as you see. So if you can completely uh, saturate, uh, for instance, grass, uh, reed, uh, anything in those sensitive marsh areas and let it dwell for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then come back and begin your cleaning process, uh, you'll be amazed at how much even faster this uh, removes and uh, how quickly this process can be accomplished. But uh, as I said, just with a straight washing, and we're about at the end of our, uh, our little mix, we only used one gallon here. But as you can see, we're gonna give this a fresh water rinse now. So I'm going to set that down and turn the hose on. And now we're just going to take this and the same thing you could do in the field. We're just going to take some good fresh water here. Oh, I apologize. I just wet my assistant and the camera lens. So it's kind of like you got wet watching. But I just want to show you from where we started just a couple of minutes ago with a minimal amount of effort, mainly just spraying, you can see we've removed of that heavy thick clump on this reed stalk, we've removed about 90-95% of that. And I can assure you that then uh, if you needed, you could apply it a second time, let it dwell like I'm doing here. And within another 10 minutes or so, we'll finish emulsifying any of the small amounts that are left on this reed one more good uh, fresh water rinse and that would be uh, clean enough that it could be recovered and uh, with our BioGrow product added after that uh, we believe that you could uh, even save a lot of this marsh and the reed and the grasses that are out there and uh, even if the petroleum is already uh, short in their life cycle the one thing we can do is help restore uh, those reeds marshes and sensitive areas very uh, just much more quickly so there you go, great example of what our product can do. If you look in the plate, as you can see mainly all we have here is just grass and the debris that was collected and the dirt that was in the oil. Uh, so at the end of the day, you're left with a fully bioremediated and cleaned up situation.